2015 memorandum coming from the Department of Public Works and Highways requiring electrical design analysis in the application for building permit. So, itong memo na to, uh, circular number 2 series of 2015 ng DP, WH, yung Department of Public Works and Highways. Kung mag-apply ka ng uh, building permit, isa, to, isa ito sa mga requirements yung sa design analysis ng electrical plan, itong short circuit calculation. So, itong tutorial na to para to sa mga interesado na electrician or uh, taong uh, interesado sa electrical na uh, kung mag-apply sila ng building permit, na isa ito sa requirements. So, kahit di sila marunong mag-compute, pero alam nila kung paano ginawa yung short circuit calculation. So, using ito, uh, itong tutorial na to using uh, PEC 17 formula. Isa ito sa mga example sa Philippine Electrical Code. So, this is the short circuit calculation using uh, PIC 17 formula. So, this is the single line diagram and then the available uh, short circuit uh, MVE for the utilities is uh, 1000 MVE and then we have a uh, 300 KBE transformer because we have a uh, 3 100 KBE 230 volts step down output And then three piece um, impedance percentage is five uh, five percent. So this is the requirements. In... Ito lang muna ang circuit ang uh, simple circuit lang muna ang example natin dahil uh, para hindi mabigla yung mga uh, baguhan ng mga electrician kasi kung kung magkumplet na yung circuit baka malilito sila. So, so dito lang muna tayo sa point E yung uh, sa utility at sa transformer yung uh, point of fault sa E kasi kung dami natin ng circuit uh, baka malilito yung mga baguhan hindi mag complex na yung circuit so dito muna dahil sa simple simple circuit para sa next uh, hindi na sila malilito, malilito kung paano i, ano yung series parallel yung combination of series and parallel circuit so this is the E at fault E. We have fault at E. And then, uh, this is the requirements. De determine the maximum symmetrical fault currents at point E. So, we need to determine what is the short circuit current at point E so that uh, we can size the circuit breaker to be installed on this circuit. Note, for this example, other impedance have been neglected. So, this is the our example. And then we use the formula for the source impedance, and then this, and then we have the KBE base uh, equals to 300, and then the formula is the KBE base divided by the short circuit capacity of the utility KBE, and then uh, we will replace the formula into the uh, into the given value. So KBE base is 300 divided by uh, the short circuit capacity of the utility we have uh, we multiply the 1000 MBE because we are using KVE so by 1000 so we have uh, 1000 KVE the short circuit and then the result is the impedance of the source is 0.003 <coughs> So we have now the value of the impedance at the source. So next, we need to know the impedance for uh, impedance at the transformer. So this is the formula of the impedance of the transformer. The percent impedance divided by 100. So we have 5 divided by 100. So we have point 0.05 impedance. So now we have now the value of the uh, impedance source and the transformer source. So in our impedance diagram that is in series, so we will add the result of this uh, impedance. So the combined impedance equals to the source impedance plus the transformer impedance. So we have source impedance uh, 
we replace that one to the value of 0 0.003 plus the impedance of the transformer which is 0 0.05 and then the result is 0 0.0503 so that is the impedance of that is the combined impedance of the circuit combined impedance so this is the the transport impedance 0 0.05 and the source is 0 0.003 so we will add that one so this is the result 0 0.0503 so that is the combined impedance at volt e so we need to know the short circuit current of this uh, volt so we have the formula we will aspire in the in the philippine electrical code 17 so we have given kbebs assuming at a equal to 300 and then this is the formula the per unit voltage divided by the per unit of the combined impedance times uh, what i mean the at the top is a ve voltage and then uh, divided by uh, 1.73 to times the b voltage so we will replace all this formula to the given value so the per unit voltage is one and then the combined uh, impedance is 0 0.503 and then we will multiply it to the b b e base we have 300 because b e so we need to multiply it into 1000 so it will become to 300 thousand and then divided by the square root of three because of three piece that is 1.732 and then times the base voltage which is 230 and then the short circuit current this is a symmetrical value so 300,000 divided by uh, 20.038 and then the result is 14,972 amperes so that is the the short circuit current the symmetrical value short circuit current and then uh, at volt e this is the symmetrical uh, short circuit current volt e the volt current to be cleared by the breaker e so breaker e so kailangan ma, ma trip niya yun sa ganong value itong 14,972 comes only from the transformer there are no contribution from the motor so itong uh, calculation nito dahil uh, dito tayo nag uh, nag short sa, sa sa point so we will neglect the the uh, lump, lump load value so now uh, the recommended uh, circuit breaker to be used on this uh, circuit is 15,000 ampere interrupting capacity so 15 ka so that is the minimum circuit breaker to be used on this circuit kasi kung masyadong mababa baka sasabog yung breaker so yeah, yan dyan ka importante ang short circuit calculation so kung kung ma-rest niya yung 15,000 halimbawa may short circuit na 14,000 so hindi sasabog ang breaker dahil nilagyan mo siya ng 15 ka pero nilagyan mo siya ng 5 ka lang so hindi siya makapag-trip sasabog na yung breaker mo so ito ito yun ang dahil ang gano'n ka-importante itong calculation na to para malaman mo kung anong uh, klaseng circuit breaker kung anong kaik na ilalagay mo dito sa circuit na ito